Welcome to my tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create an accordion frame just like the one you see here. In order to get to this point, you would probably need to follow along to the videos that I created, how to create your own custom gradients, and how to create a folded paper using gradients. If you haven't seen those two videos and you don't know how to do those techniques, then you probably should go right away and watch those. To begin, we have already created our folded paper in the last video. So what I'm going to do now is just use my selection tool and drag out a space. It can be whatever size you like. And I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to Control J, Command J on a Mac and promote that selection to a layer. And now I can just close off my bottom layer, hide that visibility and grab my move tool click show transform and now I'm going to scale this down to whatever size I want my frame to be and I want it to fill up most of the page so I'm going to leave it at that that looks pretty good now what I want to do is create a new layer grab my selection tool and now before I do that I'm going to go ahead and go to view new guide and I'm going to create a new guide and you want to put that horizontal okay so I'm gonna put it right there now this guide is to help us you'll see in a minute to maneuver our selections so I'm going to come over here and draw out a selection and I'm going to click on my layer one and hit the delete tool. Actually, I want a little bit more border. So I'm going to deselect and do that again. There. Now I'm going to hit the delete key. I'm going to go up to layer two and drag my selection over to the next one. Go back up to layer two, drag my selection again, and notice how I'm using my guide to line up the frame. And um, you just continue on until you're done. Now, I'm not sure if this will fit here. It won't, well, it will, but it's gonna leave an extremely tiny margin. So I'm just gonna go to select, deselect, and I'm going to just delete this. Okay, now we're done with our guides, so we can clear guides. Okay, now we have our accordion frame, but it doesn't look exactly like an accordion. It just looks like a folded paper frame. So here's how we achieve that effect. The first thing you want to do is duplicate your layer. Then we're going to hide the visibility of the bottom layer and we're going to be working on the copy of the layer. Okay, and we're going to use our selection tool and we're going to create cuts. We're going to cut each fold into its own layer. So on the first one, layer via cut, we want to do the same for the next layer. And so on until you're finished. Okay, now we're going to turn on auto select and just click on the first one. We're going to go to edit, transform, and then warp. Now you want to zoom in so you can see really what you're doing and we're going to warp this up into a point. Now if you only warp the very end then it's going to look like an extreme curve. If you want it a little bit straighter go ahead and move the center point as well. And hit enter to apply. 
then once again we'll go to edit transform and warp and now we're going to drag this point down to meet the last point and drag this one up to meet the last point hit enter on the keyboard okay now this one you can see we dragged it upwards and created our points up upward now this time we're going to drag the points inward so we're going to go to edit transform warp and this time we're going to fold it in. Enter on the keyboard to apply. Actually, I forgot to do the bottom. So transform, warp, and then do the bottom as well. And continue doing the exact same thing to the last two. Transform, warp, and make sure the edges meet. Hit enter on the keyboard. So edit, transform, warp. And now this time we're going to drag the points upward again. and then bring this point downward and hit enter on the keyboard and now for the very last one we're going to drag this point to meet the last one and go up and do the next point and hit enter on the keyboard now if I zoom out, you can see that now it actually looks like an accordion fold. Okay, so you can go ahead and hold down the shift key, hit your very last layer or the very top layer so that all the layers are selected. Right click and merge layers. Now the reason why I had you save the bottom layer is because if you zoom in, you can see that some of the places where we created our frame we actually lost our soft bend and created a hard cut so we want to bring those soft folds back in so I'm going to duplicate actually I'm going to turn this off for a second duplicate this I'm going to duplicate it again in case we need to do the top or the bottom so just bring that down a little bit and merge it and now I'm going to open my first layer, get my magic wand tool, and on the top layer where we created our folds, we want to just go ahead and delete that. Okay. And now I'm just going to grab a nice soft eraser brush, something with a suitable size, and zero hardness and then I'm just going to erase wherever I see a hard edge and because I have the frame underneath I can go ahead and erase and then I still have my folds and I can bring back the softness so anywhere you see any cuts you just want to go ahead and erase there Okay, I think that's it. So now I want to merge these layers. Alright, now to add our drop shadow, we just want to click and go to drop shadow. And you can just leave it at the standard drop shadow and click OK. Right click 
and create layer. Now we're going to cut this in half. So right click layer via cut or control J or command J. And now I'm going to grab my warp tool, transform and warp. And we're going to pull this out on the center where our fold creases. And if you want, you can fold that out a little bit there and there. And then hit enter or apply. Now we're going to do the same thing to our second drop shadow. Edit, transform, warp. And then we want to drag the inside and make sure that's going up and then apply. Okay, now we can merge these two together. And we're going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And we're going to blur this out so we have a nice soft shadow. And you want to use whatever looks good to you. And that looks good to me, so I'm going to say OK. And now I want to get my smudge tool. And you want a nice large brush, whatever is going to fit the area that you're working on. And you also want it to be relatively soft so that it still looks like part of the shadow. And now we're going to make a few adjustments. We're going to push this area up a little bit because basically we want just the folded edge to really come out and be more pronounced than anything else. Okay, so I'm bringing that in a little bit. Bring that in. And then I'm gonna bring the sides in. But just leave the corners up a little. Now you can adjust the opacity however you like. I like my photos to appear as if they're fitting snugly to the frames. I like to remove the inside shadows. If you like the effect of the inside shadows, you can go ahead and keep them. And I just delete that. And there you have it. That's how you create your very own accordion frame. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and we'll see you again for the next one. Hopefully it won't be so long next time. Bye-bye.